Hello, hello, and welcome to my happy place. I am coming to you today with no makeup on because it's like 100 degrees. Even though I have the air conditioner on full blast, I am still like sweating too much to put makeup on, and I'm not going out. So no one's going to see me except you guys. <laughs> so <laughs> all I had did was my morning skincare. And that's it. So I was tagged. I'm so happy I was tagged. <laughs> uh, Clara Barrera, uh, Beauty is Ageless, has tagged me. My very first tag. So excited. So I'm going to get right to it. Uh, and this is a makeup addiction tag. So how long have you been addicted to makeup? Not long. Um, let's see, there's a story behind that. When I was uh, 59, um, just before my 60th birthday, my husband gave me the money to go to Las Vegas. So I went to Vegas. I'm just taking stuff out of my pocket because it's so heavy. I have my house dress on getting the real me today. Uh, so I went to Vegas and after I had just gotten there, I loved the slots, so I couldn't wait to get downstairs. I stay at the Venetian. Um, I went downstairs and I have my makeup on, which wasn't much then. Uh, and I have my nice clothes on and I am just walking into the casino and I hear this little voice behind me say, Oh, I love it that old people still come to Vegas. Well, if that didn't bust my balloon, nothing else would. <laughs> and I hadn't yet turned 60. And whenever I went to stores, and I didn't, didn't wear makeup because uh, I was babysitting my grandchildren a lot, so I wouldn't wear makeup on those days. Uh, I only wore makeup when I went out special or to a luncheon with my girlfriends, or to a wedding or something, and even then it wasn't a lot. It was um, just neutral browns, very light, um, a little mascara, a little eyeliner. Um, where was I? I forgot where I was. <laughs> oh, so I would go around to shops and things, and I'm still 59, and clerks would say to me the amount of what I had spent, and then they would add on, that's with the senior discount. Now, I wasn't ready to have a senior discount, but it happened to me all over. So I was getting Botox at the time, a little Botox, and I would go back to the plastic surgeon and say, why is everyone trying to give me the senior discount? They, they don't even ask me if I... I'm old enough to get the senior discount. They just give it to me. Even the lady on the MTA, I was buying uh, a subway uh, card, and they're tough. They're tough ladies. And she said, senior discount? I said, no. <laughs> now I don't mind the senior discount. I actually go on senior discount days. But back then I was a little, you know, I don't want the senior discount yet. Don't push me. So when I turned 60, uh, and my daughter had turned 30 just a short time after, I said, let's go to uh, Trish McAvoy in New York City and uh, have a makeover. So we went and we had a makeover, and she did, um, I did learn some things, and she, uh, it was all uh, taupes and light browns, and that's what I stuck with for five years. I used that palette for five years um, and nothing else. I just used that for five years. Um, when I turned 65, I uh, had just had it. Nope, I'm sorry. When I turned 66, 65, 65, sorry. I don't want to edit this, so bear with me. When I turned um, 65, I was a little down. 
and you know you're on the hump to 70. So I don't care what people say. That's a little, you don't like it. I didn't like it. So I had started watching YouTube, but I wasn't watching beauty channels. I was watching, um, uh, I like metal detecting videos. And I like slot machine videos, especially Brian Christopher. I love watching him. So all of a sudden on the side, you know, a, a beauty channel popped up. So I said, oh, that's interesting. So I started watching. And from there I watched more and more and more. And then I, you know, typed in um, mature beauty. And I saw that older women, younger than me, but still older women were wearing colors. And I adore colors. I think they're so bright and happy. So I started wearing colors. And I started buying palettes. And palettes. And palettes. And creams they used. And mascaras they used. And all the different things they had. I wanted. So I started out quite easy. <laughs> and now I can say hello. My name is Pamela, and I'm addicted to makeup. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, that was the first question, and I didn't answer it. So that was about nine months ago. Uh, what is the makeup item you are most addicted to buying? Eyeshadow palettes. If they have color, you ever see Homer Simpson say donuts and he goes donuts and he dribbles down here? That's me with pretty, pretty palettes. I love pretty palettes. And the more colorful, the more I love them. Uh, I don't know if it's age appropriate for me, but I really do love putting color on my eyes. I had so many years of just the taupes and browns that I kind of just went a little crazy. And they had so many new releases uh, last fall and winter, it was like every week a new palette was coming out. So, it's palettes. How many of your favorite items do you have? I don't know. I hide them in different drawers. So my husband doesn't know. I mean, don't poke the bear, right? Uh, do you buy makeup just to buy it? Not anymore. Not anymore. When I was first starting out, um, everything that a YouTuber used looked great to me. They said it was great, I wanted it. Powders, mascaras, lipsticks, whatever they had, I wanted. Um, do you look at an item and have the need compulsion that you need just one more to complete your collection? No. I don't, first of all, I don't call it a collection. I call it a hoard. <laughs> and, um, no, it has to be something that I really want. Um, yeah, it has to be something I really want. And now it has to be something I need because I don't need any more powders or mascaras or anything like that. And actually the next question is, do you have more than 10 mascaras? How many are open? Yeah, I have a drawer full. And including samples and different colored mascaras, I probably have about 10 open. I don't know because they're all over. Do you throw, ever throw any makeup away? I just threw away, just threw away. Um, the Trish McAvoy that I've had for six years now. I decided it was time to go and it was taken up a drawer and I needed another drawer to hide my other stuff. Um, what is your oldest makeup item? That would have been my Trish McAvoy stuff. The other stuff is under t nine months old, nine months or less. Uh, how often do you shop for makeup? Now, I don't know if browsing is the same as shopping. Uh, how often do I shop for makeup? Not often unless there's something I really want um, or a palette that's just out that I want. Um, browsing, I'll do every day. I'll go on the Sephora website or Macy's or Nordstrom's and just look, but I won't buy uh, anymore anyway. Uh, let's see what's next. Do you buy any products just for the packaging? No. Oh, sorry, once. I once did. I once wanted the um, Jeffree Star uh, lip liner and I bought one because I just thought it was so cute. Uh, but that's the only time I ever bought something for packaging. I look more for the colors 
or if it's something that a YouTuber really, really, really loves. Oh, this is great. This is great. It's the newest thing. I'll buy it. Uh, when a new item is released that you want, do you set an alarm? Yes. I set my alarm twice, um, both times for Jeffree Star. If you don't buy his palettes the second they go on sale, you won't get them for a few months because you have to wait till they're restocked. I just have to cough, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So I do set my alarm and that's in the afternoon because I do forget things. Hold on one second, I have to take my inhaler. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, do you have the Ulta and Sephora apps on your phone? Excuse me, I have the Sephora app and I don't know how I got it. I must have pressed something on my phone. Um, the Ulta, no. I'm a little annoyed with Ulta because uh, whenever I signed in, they would not accept my password. So I would try to reset my password and they'd say, pick a different one because that's the one I had. And this happened to me like five times that I had to change my password. So I said, the hell with you. I'm not just not gonna bother anymore. Do you have so much makeup that you forget what you have that you purchase items again? Oh yeah, I've done it. I've done it with um, moisturizers and I've done it with palettes and mascaras and powders. <laughs> and it's always after I take it out of the packaging and swatch it and then I go to put it in a drawer and I said, oh, it's in there already. I don't do that anymore. Now I triple check to make sure I don't have something if I'm going to purchase it. Does your makeup make you happy? Yes, it does. When I wear makeup now, um, and I do myself up and I, I go out to the store, um, I find that I have more confidence. My back is straighter. Um, I just walk with more confidence. And I also notice that when you go to a counter like in Macy's or something, and you're wearing makeup, you're taken more seriously. Sometimes you can be totally ignored um, if you just look like a little old lady standing there. But when I have the makeup on, I find that people take me more seriously and I'm more apt to get help in the store. <laughs> because it has happened to me. That has happened to me, where they'll just help the other person and not me. But when you wear makeup and you go to a makeup counter or you're buying clothes, they just take you more seriously for some reason. So yes, my makeup makes me happy. Very happy. Okay, so I have to tag people. Now, if you want to do this tag, feel free to do it. But I have a list of people I'm tagging. I am tagging Ali M's Beauty. And if she tells you she's not a lipstick addict, don't believe her. I'm going to tag Sparkly Princess Lynette. I'm going to tag Vegas and Stilettos. I'm going to tag Shining Star Soup. I am going to um, tag Lynn All Things Beauty. I am going to tag Elvira Queen of Makeup. I'm going to tag, what? The show about everything. I am going to tag Mindy's Randomness because this is my first time being tagged. I have a lot of people to tag. <laughs> and uh, I wanna thank Clara Barrera, Beauty is Ageless, Ageless 55, for tagging me and just making my week. <laughs> I hope I didn't ramble on too much. Um, I want to give a special thank you for everyone who subscribed to Ally M's Beauty. It made her so happy. I think uh, we have maybe 10, 15 subscribers more, and she's just thrilled. Today she went to the uh, foot doctor. She goes once a week, because like I say, she has this ulcerated sore on her, her bottom of her foot since Christmas. Um, and for some reason when she goes, and that day the foot is very painful when she comes home, and sometimes it's bleeding. So you've made her very, very happy. I am going to 
throw confetti when she reaches a thousand. Now she does lives, but I believe, I think they're on Instagram. And she doesn't get a lot of viewers because it's on Instagram and not YouTube. Um, and when you go on Instagram, you can get a lot of hurtful comments. It's not her little um, beauty group anymore. It's more open to the world. And then she'll post that video onto YouTube, but it's just not the same. Um, so I'm so hoping to get her to a thousand. We're getting there little by little. <laughs> She's such a sweetie. But I want to say God bless to everyone who subscribed to Ali M's Beauty. I'll also, uh, well, I'll have her name in the description because I tagged her. I'll have all the names in the description, including Clara Barrera, Beauty is Ageless 55, for tagging me. <laughs> a big thank you, sweetie. You're so kind to me. I want to say have a happy day. Happy trails. Bye-bye.